Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a requirement work item using TFS 2013 Web Access. So we're going to go in our server. Here's my server and we're going to fire up the Internet Explorer and connect with our TFS. And when you connect with your TFS, with, with your TFS URL, that's called Web Access. So in this video, we're going to learn that how we can create a requirement work item uh, work there are nine work items in uh, 2013 you can create more work, work items if you want to but uh, there are nine by default uh, work items in TFS so you can choose any of that and I'll show you in a second what they are so you're gonna go ahead and connect with your team project once you're connected with your TFS using um, web browser so we're gonna go ahead and click on Tech Brothers team this is my team project and this is the home view uh, you can go uh, create work item um, requirement um, in multiple ways but uh, this is the home this is the first page you will see so in order to look at what I was talking about that what how many types of uh, work items there is so you click right here it says create new there's a little arrow right here you're gonna go ahead and click on that and all the work items shows up here item show up here so bug change request feature issue requirement review risk task and test case so these are the uh, work items that you can create using web access so we're gonna go ahead and click on requirements since this is the work item type that we're going to create so we're gonna go ahead and click requirement and so it's gonna open up for us the requirement page first thing that you need to give a title to your requirement this is my requirement give access page to the vendor so there are uh, some configuration needs to be done the second this is important I always tell in every video that tags are important if you if you're working in a complex environment where you need to look for a particular uh, uh, work item the tags are important so you're gonna uh, give a meaningful name vendor home page and you can search your work item based on your tags so up here let's go on the right side first fill that information and then we'll come back to a description analysis and storyboard and all these uh, um, uh, uh, tabs up here uh, first is assigned to you can assign to um, any person that you want to uh, in your team let's say your team is working on that and you are a tech lead or maybe a team lead or maybe just a, a team member who wanted to create this requirement and assign it to another team member so you're gonna go ahead and assign it to that person you can use um, uh, your active directory it'll it's gonna pull active directory users and also the users uh, that's in active directory and in um, TFS they're gonna appear here you can select that or you can you can just go ahead and type that in so um, when you create work item uh, using web access or Microsoft test manager it's always in proposed state once it's saved then you can change the state because you're creating it brand new is going to be in proposed state and reason it's always gonna be new size you can put um, the, the the planning size priority you can change it uh, keep in mind that when you click on priority if you put priority one that's the highest priority um, in um, TFS and if you put four that's the min minimum uh, um, priority and the tries uh, if, if it's um, if you have you know tries this uh, uh, particular what is the urgency of this particular uh, uh, requirement whether you wanted to basically move it up or down uh, usually uh, your tech lead will decide that this is urgent needs to be done rather quick then you can go ahead and uh, um, uh, put up here that the info received or it's already triced and planned everything is planned so block no uh, committed no that's fine and area and iterations are always important so you wanted to make sure that uh, your uh, 
uh, area is your team project where you're working on it iteration is always important again that what iteration it is usually by default if you um, uh, use Microsoft test manager it's going to be uh, your team project plus uh, zero iteration to three zero to three so there are four iterations and types are important up here there's uh, uh, certain types of um, uh, the requirement up here is a functional requirement feature is going to be a new feature it's business objective safety scenario quality of service and operational whatever suits your requirement at that time you need to select that and now let's say that we're done on the right side we're gonna go on the left up here description description is important you can uh, create a home page for all vendors so this is the description again this should be meaningful uh, I this is demo purposes I'm just going to show you that uh, you know you can put description up here analysis analysis once you save that and this requirement is going to be tested and everything then you can go in analysis uh, of that particular requirement storyboard the same thing test cases you can assign the test cases of this particular work item uh, requirement right here right now or you can do that later so if in this video we're just creating a requirement and um, I'll put a separate video how to create a test case and attach it to a requirement uh, using web access so please stay tuned for that and um, up here is the attachment if you have instructions that you wanted to attach I'm going to do that click yes and go to the browse and up here is my uh, uh, attachment is a document that's uh, telling tester or whoever you assign to that what it's supposed to do or whatever the uh, attachment that you wanted to do so we're gonna go ahead and click and put a comment here we see attached and hit OK all right if uh, this is if you're modifying this um, requirement uh, you can look at the history and um, um, all the modification will show in that particular history so we have created a new uh, work item called uh, well, the type of work item is requirement and we're gonna go ahead and save and close and now if we'll go back and look at our requirements and and we can query all the requirements that we have made we can look at that later so this is how you create a work item type requirement using web access again there are uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine type as I said there are nine types of work items in TFS by default so I hope this video helps